Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Plots Productions, and this is game three between me playing Red Green Land Destruction, playing against my friend Calic, who is playing full white. My opening hand for this game consisted of a forest, a tectonic edge, a root bound crag, a roiling terrain, a goblin room blaster, and two lava ball traps. For our first couple turns, I started off with a forest, and then Calic sat down in a mirror of the sky ruin. I then followed it up with a root bound crag and Calic set down a tectonic edge. I then set down a tectonic edge and then Calic missed a land drop. So I set down my fourth land and then cast and kicked my goblin room blaster. In response, Calic sacked his tectonic edge to destroy my tectonic edge and then the ruin blaster took out his sky ruin taking him down to no lands. I then attacked Calic for two with the ruin blaster taking him down to 18 life. Calic then set down another land, but I got rid of it with a royal in terrain, which also did 3 damage to him. Then I attacked with my room blaster, taking him down to 13 life. Calic then set down a tectonic edge, but I got rid of it with another royal in terrain and did 4 more damage to him. I then attacked with my goblin again, taking him down to 7 life. Calic got to keep his land this time, and then when I attacked with my Rune Blaster, he used a Path to Exile to get rid of it, so I searched for a mountain. Then post-combat, I cast a Rampant Growth to search for a forest. Calic then set down a second land and cast a Knight of the White Orchid, and then was able to find himself a third land. I passed my next turn without playing anything new, and then Calic set down a Tectonic Edge, and then I used a Lightning Bolt to kill his Knight. I set down a root bound crag on my next turn and then passed it again without playing any spells. Then Calix set down his fifth land and cast a Battle Grace Angel. On my next turn I then cast a Dragon Broodmother. Then on Calix upkeep I got a Dragon Token. Calix then removed my Dragon Broodmother from the game with an Oblivion Ring. He then attacked with his Angel which I decided to chump block with my token. This gained Calix 5 life taking him back up to 12. I cast a Rampant Growth on my next turn to search for a mountain, and then Calic cast a second Battle Grace Angel and then attacked me with his first one for 6 damage, taking me down to 14 and taking him back up to 18. I was now finally up to 8 lands, so I used them to cast Lava Ball Trap and used it to take out Calic's Tectonic Edge in one of his planes. This also killed his two Battle Grace Angels. However, on Calic's next turn, he set down another Tectonic Edge and then cast a Knight of the White Orchid to search for another Plains. So I used another Lava Ball Trap to do it again, taking out his two lands and his Knight. In response, Calic used a Path to Exile to get rid of his Knight and search for another Plains. Calic then cast a Core Firewalker. I then set down a Raging Ravine and then resolved an Acidic Slime to blow up one of Calic's Plains. Calic then used another Oblivion Ring to get rid of the Acidic Slime and then attacked with his Fire Walker for 2, taking me down to 12 life. For my next turn, I started off by casting an Explorer to draw a card. I then cast a second Explorer to draw another card, but still had no new lands. Then I animated my Raging Ravine and attacked Calic for 4, taking him down to 14. Calic hit me for 2 again with his Fire Walker, taking me down to 10 life. Then post combat, he played a martial coup to make himself two tokens. I started off my next turn by setting down a tectonic edge. I then used the chain reaction to get rid of Calic's two tokens. When I cast the chain reaction, Calic used his core firewalker's ability to gain one life and go back up to 15. I then animated my raging ravine and attacked for five more, dropping him back to 10. On Calic's next turn, he cast a Bane Slayer Angel. However, I had a Chandra Nalar that I was able to use to get rid of the Angel. Calic then gained one life off of the Chandra, going back up to 11 life. I then animated my Raging Ravine and attacked. However, Calic blocked it with his core Firewalker. Calic then used his Firewalker to attack my Chandra and kill it. Then on my turn, I started off by casting a Goblin Rune Blaster. I then animated my Raging Ravine and attacked with the Ravine and the Rune Blaster for 9 damage, taking Calic down to 2. Then I finished him off with the Lightning Bolt. This gave me the game and the match.